What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Wednesday, December 15th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the Draft Dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made okay guys we have an 11 game slate tonight so let's take a look at the point guard position so I like Malcolm Brogdon from the Indiana Pacers playing the Milwaukee Bucks who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing point guards Malcolm Brogdon has averaged 39.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 35 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate. He's projected at 39.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 7,700 DraftKings salary, 200 less on FanDuel, Vegas thinks there's going to be 217.5 points scored in this game. And Malcolm Brogdon has scored 46, 28, and 35 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 36, 37, and 32 minutes. So he's playing a ton of minutes. He's got a great matchup. So I like Malcolm Brogdon here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. So, here's a value play for you. I like Terrence Ross from the Orlando Magic playing the Atlanta Hawks, who have the 8th worst defense overall. They give up the 7th most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Terrence Ross has averaged 18.1 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 25 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He's projected at 19.2 fantasy points here tonight. Now that's 4.7 times value, but just take a look at his last three games. He scored 32, 29, and 27 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 32, 25, and 34 minutes. So he's been on fire playing a lot more minutes than his season average over the past three games. And he's only 4,100 DraftKings salary. He's 700 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 224 points scored in this game. And it's a good matchup. So if he can stay on fire this game, he should be able to crush value here. So I like Terrence Ross here versus the Atlanta Hawks. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. So, I like Laurie Markkinen from the Cleveland Cavaliers playing the Houston Rockets, who have the third worst defense overall. They give up the seventh most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. Laurie Markkinen has averaged 26.1 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 31 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He's projected at 25.2 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.9 times value. He's 5,100 DraftKings salary, 100 less on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 221.5 points scored in this game. And Laurie Markkinen has scored 21, 12, and 30 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 31, 26, and 21 minutes. So a wide range of outcomes. 
but I do like this matchup, and I think he can score 26 fantasy points or more in this one and get you five times value or more. So I like Laurie Markkinen here versus the Houston Rockets. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. So here's another value play. I like Darius Baisley from the Oklahoma City Thunder playing the New Orleans Pelicans who have a middle of the pack defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing power forwards. Darius Baisley has averaged 22.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 28 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. He's projected at 22.4 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.9 times value. He's 4,600 DraftKings salary, 1,300 more on FanDuel. So I prefer that DraftKings price. And Darius Baisley has scored 27, 27, and 28 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 30, 23, and 32 minutes. And he scored 24, 25, and 43 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Pelicans. So I like Darius Baisley here versus the New Orleans Pelicans. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Now, another value play that I do like here tonight, although it is a back-to-back, -back, is Robert Covington. And this would be on DraftKings only for me because he's only 3,800 DraftKings salary and he's projected at 20.7 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.5 times value. He's averaging 19 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 12% usage rate, but he scored 20, 32, and 19 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 36, 33, and 35 minutes. Now Vegas thinks there's gonna be 219.5 points scored in this game, and although this is a back-to-back, -back, I just think that for 3,800, if you're going to get a guy that's playing 33 to 36 minutes, he's got a great chance at hitting value or even crushing value if he puts up like that 32 fantasy point game that he did a couple games ago. So I think he's an interesting value play. So I like Robert Covington as a value play on DraftKings here versus the Memphis Grizzlies. Okay, moving on to the center position. I've got another value play for you here tonight at the center position. I like Kevin Love from the Cleveland Cavaliers playing the Houston Rockets, who have the third worst defense overall. They give up the seventh most fantasy points to opposing centers. He's also eligible at the power forward position, but Kevin Love has averaged 25.5 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 20 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate. He's projected at 25.2 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.2 times value. He's 4,800 DraftKings salary, 500 more on FanDuel. And Kevin Love has scored 37, 19, and 46 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 23, 13, and 22 minutes. Now he's not playing a ton of minutes, but his usage rate the last three games was 29, 25, and 29%. So he's getting the ball when he's on the court and he is a point per minute monster at 1.31 fantasy points per minute. So if he can get 20 plus minutes, he should be able to crush value here 
and he's got that monster upside if he scores 35 or 45 fantasy points, somehow plays 25 minutes and just gets on a roll, and it's a great matchup and a fast-paced game. So I like Kevin Love here versus the Houston Rockets. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.